Hello and welcome back. I'm going to teach you how to install a light bar. I got this one off Amazon from a company named Uta Motor. As you can see, it didn't come with a harness or relay, so I made my own. However, it is worth mentioning it was more expensive for me to make my own than it would have been for me to order a pre-made one from the company I got the light bar from. It was a little over $20 to make one myself, which you can compare that to the $10 for a pre-made harness. This is what you're going to need if you're making your own harness. If you bought a pre-made one, then just stick around and I'll explain shortly how to install it. Put the mounting brackets on the light bar in the position you're going to want the light bar installed, and mark on the bumper where the bolts line up at to drill through. Each light bar bracket is held onto the car by a single bolt, and there are two brackets. Once the brackets are attached to the car, you can attach the light bar to the brackets, and then you can focus on the wiring.
So the light bar is held on by two bolts. This bracket and this bracket have a bolt that go through the bumper. You can kind of see it right there in front of my pinky and one right there. And it just goes into the bumper and bolts in. Here's a wiring diagram I made trying to keep it as simple as possible to understand. First, I hooked up the ground for the light bar. The negative wire from the light bar attaches directly to the car's frame, the ground. Next, I routed the positive wire for the light bar through the car to where I plan on putting the relay. There was a rubber grommet in the firewall I poked a hole through and fed the wire through since the relay is going to be in the passenger kick panel. The wire is attached to the relay's yellow wire which is labeled number 87 on the relay. Then I hooked up the relay's 12 volt supply. I wired it to the 12 volt supply of my car's fuse box to make things simple which is directly attached to the battery. The relay's 12 volt supply is labeled number 30 on the relay, which is the red wire. A fuse for this wire is not optional, and you want the fuse as close to the battery as possible. Next you're going to have to hook up the relay's ground wire, which is attached directly to the car's frame. The relay ground is labeled number 85 on the relay, and it's the blue wire. Then you're going to have to wire the relay's trigger wire, which tells the relay to turn the light bar on or off. This wire is labeled number 86 on the relay, and it's the green wire coming out of it. This wire goes from the relay to the switch. Next you're going to have to ground the switch. This wire goes from the switch to the car's frame. Lastly, you're going to need to supply 12 volts to the switch. I used a fuse tap for this to get the switch 12 volts from the kick panel fuse box. Once everything is hooked up, test it to make sure it works before putting your interior back together. And that's it. I'm very pleased with the results. The light bar is brighter than expected and pretty easy to install. And as always, thanks for watching.